Hello and welcome to your Friday afternoon YDOT weather briefing. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Huer. Well, this evening and tonight, wind prone locations across south central and southeastern Wyoming will start to see some strong and gusty winds that will last into early Saturday morning. Nothing frightful at all, though, weather wise for Halloween. Sunday and early next week looking very nice, but snow and cold will return and we'll cover all that here now. Starting with this evening and tonight, we will be looking at strong and gusty winds south past sections of I-80 and I-25 and after about 7 to 8 o'clock tonight, gusts of 50 to 65 miles an hour will be a possibility in the wind prone areas. So anyone traveling with a light or high profile vehicle, you will need to be aware of that. Otherwise, dry and quiet tonight for your Saturday. We will be looking at a weak cold front around the region and along and east of the Bighorns and the Laramie Range will be looking at some blustering north to northwest winds, some chilly temps, highs just 40s to 50s, and specifically across the northeastern corner, some gusts out of the north northeast 20 to 45 miles an hour, otherwise a cool and dry day. And while Saturday evening and night might be a little spooky with all the ghosts and goblins out, nothing frightful weather-wise. And we do have a super moon for our Halloween night. The super moon is when you have two full moons in the same month. And it just happens to be on Halloween this year. Our last full moon on Halloween was in 2001. And our next full moon on Halloween won't be until 2039. For Sunday, all quiet statewide. High pressure starts to build in. Beautiful fall day. And here we have a look at this large ridge of high pressure building across the West United States and Great Basin. This is going to be making for warm, dry, and beautiful weather next week. We're going to be looking at some highs in the 60s and 70s in the plains Monday through potentially Friday. And here's a snow graphic for snowfall across the state through next Friday. And it's basically void of any. Little bit up here in the northwest, and it's all coming in late. And that is due to a pattern shift. We go from a ridge of high pressure to a big trough of cold Arctic low pressure late next week. Starting next weekend on through the second week of November, we're going to be looking at a return back towards some very cold and also potentially snowy weather conditions. Here's a graphic showing snowfall next weekend through the, thurs the following Thursday, and there will be a high likelihood of not only very cold temperatures, but accumulating snow as we get into the following week across Wyoming and much of the Rocky Mountain West. So enjoy the nice weather conditions into and through next week before we have a switch back to winter weather conditions, and we'll keep you up to date on all the changes. Have a great afternoon and a terrific weekend. Thanks for watching.